I do want to get into something that we discussed last week, or, or planned to discuss last week, and that is the AAC is not going to get Colorado State and Air Force. Both of those schools have elected to stay in the Mountain West. Now, we already had talked about San Diego State and Boise said that they are not going to join the AAC. I, I think the biggest thing about this is the AAC is going to have to maybe maintain a little more regionality. They're going to have to stay on this side of of the country to figure out who their next teams are going to be because I don't think you're going to get them from the Mountain West. If you look at what the Mountain West already has, Chris, they reasonably could broker a deal that would pay their schools more than what the current AAC has, right? And when I say current, yeah. I'm talking about the Cincinnati, Houston, and who am I missing that went over to? Yes, yes. Yes. So those have already moved over to the Big 12. You know, within the next couple of years, that's when they will start in the Big 12 conference. It, the current landscape for the AAC, I don't know, would bring in as much money as what the Mountain West will bring in on their next TV deal. If you're the AAC, obviously the next one up is is UAB. you got to figure out if you can get UAB from Conference USA, and I would imagine they will be able to get that done. But this is not just to do with money for the first time in, in quite some time. I think the Mountain West stuff has to do with, hey, yeah, we might make a couple more million dollars on the TV deal, maybe, but what are we going to do with our non-revenue sports? Like we still got to be able to to send these guys somewhere close enough to where we can compete, and and if you're the AAC, I think you got to start figuring that out. Uh, other than UAB, uh, where does the AAC go next? Uh, I mean, I've told you before, I would go to Myrtle Beach. I would yeah. I would go get Coastal. Uh, I think I think they're building a program there, and and it could be a thing where once Jamie Chadwell's gone, they're nothing. But what is the rest of the American right like? Right now, they would probably be one of the favorites to win the American if they walked in the American today as it's constituted in the next year or two once, once it's all settled. So, you know, I would call them. It gives you, you know, a footprint in South Carolina that you don't have, but you're still in the South. You know, it, it, that would be one team I would call. I, I would try to go get Army. I would call Army as well. Yeah, I, I look at. I'm, I'm curious about markets. Are they going to start shooting for big markets? Right? You no, lost. No, they're already in the biggest markets in the country, Gary. The biggest markets in the country. Uh, the reason I say that, so you've got UT San Antonio, right? And so you okay, bring in that okay, San Antonio yeah, they could market. because they're losing Houston. So that yeah. helps. So that that would certainly that help. Uh, you're going to keep SMU, so that definitely helps. So you're in Dallas in that area. From there, I, I don't know. Like, do you go back into Florida if you've already got USF? Like you've got South Florida, you got the Tampa market. Do you try and bring in an FAU or an FIU? I, I doubt it. I, I don't know what. No, the next, I, wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't care about that, man. I'm, I'm not really. I'm not really sure exactly. Like I said, the only the only two gimme that I would go get. You know what? I might. I mean, I might go get Louisiana. That's that's a possibility. That's the second biggest school in the state of Louisiana. I, I have heard uh, rumblings that they would be interested in Charlotte. But, I mean, that program still relatively new as far as FBS goes. There is a well, lot of uh, potential growth. Charlotte, Charlotte fits the mold of what they look like. <clears throat> the biggest, it's one of the big. Is Charlotte bigger than Raleigh? It's one of the biggest yeah. cities in North Carolina in the state, and and that's what they have. You know, they've got Memphis, and and Memphis was the biggest city in in Tennessee before Nashville became what it is. But that's the last ten years. You know, they've got Philadelphia. They've got, you know, they, they've got big city markets. They had Houston. So so getting the, you know, a big city school, you know, from a southern state, not a bad idea. That follows follows the trend of, of what you've got. I think, I think if you're the AAC, you've got to figure out, are you more worried in markets or are you more worried in brands? Because if you're worried in brands, then you got to bring in App State or at least have a discussion. you got to talk oh, to Louisiana. Yeah. No, like, I would. But yeah. here's the problem. At some point in time, you're just going to fill up with nothing but North Carolina and, and, and South Carolina schools. But, I mean, yeah. I guess, is that a problem? Is that wrong? Is that bad? Because yeah. those are brands, and that's a good football market. Yes. No, it definitely is. I, I'm very I'm very curious what they're going to try and do. Do you, do you worry about, I mean, obviously you want TV to matter, but are you more worried about eyeballs uh, as far as the people that will tune in? Or are you more worried about the potential for people that will tune in. So um, let me let me I'm, talk about I'm this, sure. okay? Like, all right, so you've got 
you've got, I'm going to use this cow. So Cal Berkeley, right? Yeah. That is, that is a, that is a pretty good sized school in, in the largest state in the country. Correct. I don't know if they're bigger than, than Texas or not, but, but pretty damn big state, but nobody, nobody within a, you know, 300 mile radius of cow gives a damn about cow football. Okay. <laughs> like, like, they don't have, unless you went to Cal and actually liked football, nobody cares, right? Correct. But if, but Birmingham, Birmingham is the epicenter. So while it has a fraction of a fraction of the amount of people, the amount of people that love college football and would be interested in any brand that's good or exciting are in Birmingham. That, so, so you're getting a, a bigger percentage. I would think the same would be for Charlotte, I would think the same would be said for App State. These are small places with not a lot of people, but the people that are there support the program from a local perspective and a statewide perspective. You don't get that at some of these other places. Yes. When you get outside of the South or the Midwest, nobody really cares about college football, but you get big, you get big cities you get much more people but you don't actually get fans so how do, I've, I've never understood how that helps your brand i've never understood how getting eyeballs in california or in new york actually helps anybody make more money because i don't think more people might be watching but the people watching don't actually care what they're watching right it's no, just it's, on at a sports bar it, it's the so there's the difference right let's let's just take a look at georgia so if the AAC were to try and take a Sunbelt team from the state of Georgia, do you go yeah. with Georgia State, who is in the biggest city in the state, and that would be Atlanta, Georgia State, of course, uh, the Panthers, or do you go with Georgia Southern, who has a longer history, a bigger, more, uh, what's the word, a, a more devout fan base uh, over in That's Statesboro, which is a much smaller city? Like, yeah. you're going to so have more fans with Georgia Southern, I think. Yeah, I'm with you. So if I was the athletic director or the, the, the not the athletic director, the, uh, the conference commissioner, I would go after the places that have the fans with, with more passion, I guess, if that's something that you need. All right. In this situation, if I'm picking between those two schools, cause I wouldn't take both, I, I would go after the bigger brand of those two just because. So I, I would probably do the same thing in North Carolina. Like if you told me you could have Charlotte or App State, I would take App State. Because there's plenty of people in Charlotte that are App State fans. Because everybody in North Carolina is really proud. Even your UNC fans and your Duke fans are really proud of App State because they're the little guy. That could, we, we live in Mississippi. But if Southern Miss was doing something special, if Southern Miss was the equivalency of App State, we, even though we, don't, we, we didn't go there, we, we've never been fans, of, we would love them. For what they're giving us. Yes. Because they're from our state and they're doing something special all the time. Yeah. No, I, I tend to agree. So that is, so of I course. Think, I think like, I would go with a better program than than I would, you know, than I would the bigger city. Just because I think that's, that's how most fans react. And I could be way wrong. I just think if you're good and you have exciting games on TV, more people are going to watch. Yeah, I, and just I because you just because you're from a big market doesn't mean anybody's going to watch if you're not good and if you're not entertained. No, you're you're definitely not wrong on on that for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at @garywce at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.